welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers and thank you for subscribing. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, click that little subscribe button and hit the likey and all the YouTube doobie all that YouTube stuff. All that YouTube stuff. Alright, so last video we did a 30 Evan Rude. And I told you in that video I had three of those. So, and I think I said I had two Evan Rudes and one jumped. So we are here on the one Johnson. And it's a little rougher than the other one, at least exterior wise. Um, and like I said, these outboards are used commercially by a set netter who goes out with nets and catches the salmons. And this is what he uses. So let's take a look at this puppy and see what we got, what we're going to get. What we're going to get, what we got, what we're going to get. Well, there it is. And I'll give you the full length of it. So. Yeah. Like I said, just a little bit rougher than the other one, but I ain't even looked under the bonnet. Um, but I'm assuming it's very similar to the other one, just like the nutter one. So, she's a 30. Uh oh, oh. Oh, looky here. <laughs> hey there, I think I am broken. Yeah, mmm. She's a little gooier. Let's look at the top of that cabadinator. What you got going there? You see that? Got a little bit of caramelization on it. Think you could probably mix in a little sugar and put in some uh, pralines and probably be pretty good. Look at all that caramel on that thing. And there's the infinite break, the little nipple primer. Let's see if the throttle works. Ooh. No, she's froze, froze, froze. Oh, there it goes. It started to move. Okay, I can probably get that going. She's moving. Very tight. It's tight. Very tight. But uh, let's see what we got going around back this neck of the woods. Just some good old crusty salt everywhere. Yeah. And as you can see, this is one of these. 88, 89 models, 90-ish, 90 90-ish, 90 late 80s, early 90s, where OMC was struggling pretty good, and they said, we'll just forego that there zinc primer. That cost us a little bit of extra money, and we ain't got no money. So we'll just forego that. And you can see, there ain't no zinc on that thing. It's just scale, flaky, dicky, yummy. So, let's see if we got, okay, that, okay, she's in gear now, there, she felt like, I don't know, I don't know, can't, there, well, I don't know, there it goes, is that neutral, okay, we got a neutral, Got a reverse, got a neutral, and got a forward. All right, so I think it's going to shift all right. But the carburetor is going to have to come off. The recoil, this back AV mount in the back there. It's broke, dude, so I'll just take all this off. So. Let me get busy taking that off. I won't bore you with that. I'll be right back. 
Okay, I went ahead and took the carburetor off. Um, you can see how lovely it is. Got the caramel over it. And so we'll open that up in a minute. I took a spuck of the spuck of the plugs out. They are L77 JC4s. Both of them look oily black. Uh, so I'll just clean them up. Um, I got my Sparky Spider hooked up if you look right in here. I got my half Milwaukee drill. All set up to spin her over. Uh, let's get you up a little more. And uh, let's see what we get. What we get, what we get. We got good sparky. So let's get some compressiones. You want a status? That's right. I speak it in Spanish. Let's see. Let's get the bottom cylinder to this. I'm gonna put you over here where you can see the action. All right, um, she's on zero. And let's get rid of Sparky because we don't need that no more. He said he don't need me no more. I'll go back on where I belong. All righty, let's see what we get on the bottom. All righty. We get 120 dead on. Zero, 30, 60, 90, 120. On the bottom. That good. 120 good. Let's see what we get on the top. Get off there. Play with my glove. Can't have that. You're having that stuff. Alright. We on zero. Let's see what we get. What we get. We get 120 dead on. 120 top, 120 bar, 120 plenty. So we got spark. We got compressed on us. You want a status? So let's get that off of there. Oh. over there. Now, I'm going to show you what I do. I This back AV mount right there was broke. And this is what was left of it screwed down in there. So that screws down in there. And that would be laminated to that and I'm gonna show you how I fix that on a motor in this shape so let me get that set up then we're gonna come back and look inside that car I'll be right back
So all I did is take and drill a hole through the rubber, widen out the hole in the cup, put the rubber back in the cup, drill the hole in the little bottom part that goes on the bottom, and then I'll put a bolt right through all of that, which is going to be long, a little bit long, well, a good half inch longer than the original. Okay, um, get you a little more over here. See that? Alright, the old carbonator ain't too bad. Let's get a little push thing. There is caramel in there. And so, and I can see, you can't see it, but I can see a little yuck right down in the high jet chamber. But overall, not bad. Get my needle. Not too awfully yucky in there. So most of it's exterior yuck. So I'm going to wash it with some regular old hot soapy water. And then I'm going to splunge it with some... Um, Regular old carb intake cleaner. But one thing you want to make sure of on this particular motor is that little primer hole. As soon as I find my little, there it is. This little little nipple right here. A lot of times will get plugged, and then your primer won't prime. This one might be just plugged because I can't get this through there. And I should be able to get that through there. Let's come in from the inside and see what happens. Yeah, she plugged. It's plugged. Well, I can't get that in there. So, there, got it. And there it comes. You can see my little wire now sticking out. So I know that's open now. So we know that's open. So, we'll get that all cleaned up scrubbed up. I'll take the rest of this thing out so I can get some of that there spray juju down in that transition chamber. Uh-huh. There she be. I don't see much light through that either. So that's about half plugged. Alrighty, I got the carb all cleaned up. You can see it looks a lot better. Yeah. And we uh, put the recoil back together, putting the spark plugs on, put a little dab of dewy on the d -Li Electric. Use it. You got it. Make sure you get it on the porcelain part of the plug because that's going to make it easier next time you need to take that plug boot off is what I said. Now let me show you all I did for the uh, broken motor mount. Oh sorry about that. We get over here. We get over here. All I did was take this longer little bolt I drilled a hole through everything. Then I put a longer bolt through the hole I drilled through all that stuff. And that's good enough. So that's what I did there. All right.
So, you're going to see what I'm going to see. Hopefully it don't break my arm or something. Alrighty. Let's try that again. Woo! Living down the pine, oh, Papa run a P-Bro, Mama hang out the clothes, Billy run that motorboat, I say Billy run that motorboat, Billy run that motorboat on. Shirts and blue jeans. Shorts.
really good. They should run. A pretty little Johnny. All good to go. Let me move you back over. Oh. Okay. Now, what did I do to get that thing running like that? Well, it just so happens. I had just done one of my own 30 Johnsons carbonators. I had it all cleaned up and sitting right over there. And I said, self, instead of taking that carburetor that was on there, it wasn't doing too good. Because the fuel pump was a pumping. It was pumping. So I said, I got that 30 Johnny carburetor all cleaned up and I rebuilt and everything right there. Let's slap it on. I slapped it on. It runs fine. That carburetor's still dirty. I clean it. I rebuild it. I make it all nice. And I'll slap it on a nutted. Alright, now. So, that's two of the four. So, no, that's two of the three that we've got done. But, before I can get on the last one, which looks, I don't know, I don't think it's any rougher than that one. I think it might be a little older than this one. Um, this is about an 86, 88. I didn't look. It's in that area, 86, 88. Um, so, she runs like a little cherry. Could I do a lot more to this motor? Oh, 
my goodness, yes. It's filthy. It's salty. It's abused. Neglected. I ain't going to do no more to it. It runs. It pees. It shifts. It idles. It's usable. It can go out there and continue to get the <clears throat> beat out of it. So that's number two of the three. So, but before I can get on number three, I got a Yamaha that a guy uh, is kind of, he's got a son coming up. They want to go out and do the set net thing. And his son's only going to be here for a few days. So he goes, could you, you know, come in, in, in. Yeah, I can do that. So that's what we're going to do next. But before I go, I told a couple of my subs that I would show them some stuff. I've had more than probably a half dozen ask me about starters for the 15 horsepower pre-93, 92 and down, the low profile uh, Johnsons, 15s and 9.9s, about electric start for those. Um, and I said, I go out in my pile because I know I've got some in my starter shelf somewhere. So, I've tried to describe them, but um, here it is. This is the starter for the low profile Johnson Evinrude 15 9.9s. You can see how the bracket is kind of, you know, it's part of the starter. And then it's got this goofy drop down thingy here. I don't know what it is. Is that? But you can see the starter motor and the bracket and the housing, it's kind of all one. And then you got the two bolts. So people have asked me about adding start to those 9.9s and 15s. Your block, your cylinder head, has to be bossed for this. If it's not, you can't put this on there. The holes won't be there to screw these bolts in. You understand? That's what it is. But that's it. And the only number I could find on this thing, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but I'm going to try and try and let you see it. It's, it's, it's in yellow paint, and it says 58461. That, I believe, was a 3. And then it says one, or J, probably came off of Johnson, 1J1, I think is what that says. I don't know. But that, that's it. That's the only marking I could find on the thing anywhere. It don't say nowhere on here who builds the starter or anything. But that's what they look like. And unless your cylinder block is bossed with those holes, you can't put this on there. But this came off uh, probably about an 86 Johnson that had electric start. Okay, the other question. People call me, or call me, well they call me. <laughs> People ask me about the Johnson Evinrude same era motors, the low profile 9.9s, 15s, they have figured out how much could that little plastic top on that carburetor be? Couple bucks for sure. It's just plastic. It can only be like six, seven dollars. Well, add a Benjamin and a little bit to that, and you get it. So those that are asking me about them, they've been to the websites and they know that that little plastic cover right there is well over hundred dollars. It's about one hundred and twenty-seven dollars, I think, for that plastic cover. Now, people ask me about them, and I have them. But from what I've researched, there are six holes: one, two, three, four, five, six. See that? Six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's no adjustment in the top. Up for the transition chamber, there's no adjustment there. It's just a that a screw. All right. So there's the six top with no adjustment in front. Then there's this guy. One, two, three, four, five. There's the five screw. Don't get these holes messed up. That's where the carburetor choke retainer goes. That other one has those two holes as well, but it only has one, two, three, four, five screws. 
they improved it with the six screw because they leak right there in that corner. So they put a screw there. And this one don't have an adjustment here, but it will have the adjustment in front. I got it out right now, but you can see the hole. So you have adjustment there. Um, whereas this one has a screw there to adjust instead of here. It has the needle here instead of there. Here, there, there, there. But anyway, like this one is four, three, seven, nine, eight, five. 437985 is the number on this one that has the adjustment on the side and it has one two three four five six see they put a screw in that corner right there because it would leak in that corner and there's your two screw holes for the choke retainer this one is number what oh, that's teeny my old blind self so if I can see it I'm gonna have to get a flashlight get me a candle and then drop it. And then drop it. I'm sorry. This one is 334050. 334050. It does not have the adjustment. It has the five screws. One, two, three, four, five. Nothing in that corner where they leak. So the six screw is an upgrade. And then it has the adjustment on the front and not the side. So I've got quite a few of these. And they often get crack, that dreaded hairline crack. And when that happens, they, they won't adjust. You, you, they won't run. So I have them. But then, let's throw another wrench in there. I've been told there's a Canadian uh, parts number one of them. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the difference is. Um, is there a Belgium one? I don't know. I do know that there's six screws, five screws, front adjustment, side adjustment. So you got to let me know what you got. And if you don't want to pay $127 plus shipping for it, if I have it, I will send it to you on the donate PayPal cheap. So, now, that's the questions that I remembered uh, people wanted to ask me about was those tops on those plastic tops and the electric start for the 9915 low profile. So we are done with number two on the 30 OMC series. This little Johnson runs well and uh, like I said next up is going to be a little Yamaha. I don't even know what horsepower I just know it's out there and I got to get it in here. So that's going to be a wrap on this one, and thank you for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with Cody Bass.